are two builders. We hold our electronics in place using captive studs. The way to do this is grab your piece of electronic that you want to install into the dome, get a magic marker, mark both holes on each side of the electronics or however many holes you want to put in the dome. Be careful of placement because you don't want to put them in the wrong spot. Get yourself a center punch, bang the dome real hard with it, but not too hard. That way it puts a little divot in there. Take a drill, I'm using a three millimeter drill bit here, and just go through the inner dome all the way to the outside of the inner dome. Once you have both holes drilled, grab your countersink. It's a 3 16ths inch countersink bit at 120 degrees. Don't worry about burrs on the outside. Stick it on the outside of the dome of the hole, drill slowly, grab your captive stud, and we're gonna place that in to see how it fits. This is a captive stud, it's an 18 by eight stainless 440 thread and mine are half an inch long. Keep drilling until the captive stud fits just flush with the dome because once we install our hardware, we're gonna pull that a little bit tighter and it'll hold the captive stud in place. How to put the captive stud in, you thread it through, grab your hardware, put the hardware over that, pull the captive stud out just a little bit, get a number four washer that has an ID of uh, one eighth of an inch, and use a quarter inch hex nut and just kind of hold that hex nut and twist the cap to stud until it threads through. Uh, you'll have to twist that hex nut a little bit. Once you've got them all installed, you can use thread locker on there if you choose and just slowly tighten these down until you feel them begin to bite into the metal. Just repeat this process for the rest of your hardware. Drill the holes and put them in. As always, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like.